That's a sweet pea. I just told you his story a few videos back about how I rescued him twice. But um, if you ever like to watch award-winning short films, or if you don't, that's okay too. There's a channel called, I don't know if I'm saying it right, Amaletto. And they have a lot of good things on there to help you regain your perspective. Anyway, I just watched one where this guy went to the wedding of his ex. And <laughs> boy, did that bring back a memory um, from, oh, almost 30 years ago. Probably was 30 years ago. I was a senior in uh, college. And I found out the guy I just broke up with had gotten engaged. Oh my gosh, that was ridiculous. And then, of course, that following summer, he invited me to his wedding. Because we'd known each other since we were, oh, sophomores in high school. So, yeah, a few years. And I took my uh, my best friend and I went. And, um, and we ended up sitting in the row with three of his other exes. Oh my gosh, you can't, you can't make this stuff up. Well, I suppose you could. But yeah, it was funny because we were all laughing and joking how we were, the, you know, this was the exes row. And I did <laughs> And they say that, you know, you shouldn't or maybe you shouldn't go to things like that. But I think it's it's good for closure and you should always take a friend with you. That's that's what I think. Ironically, by the time I did go to his wedding and he had his wedding, I was, um, yeah, I was engaged to somebody else. So <laughs> that was my first husband who, as you know, that didn't work out either. And, ugh, I'm eating hair here. Yes, I'm eating hair. Yes, I am. Right, P? <laughs> yeah. There's Elvis. Another thing that's ironic is I, after waiting a couple of weeks, I went ahead and I applied for another job and that's when I heard from the job I really wanted so she apologized for being late and that sickness had gone through the school and all this stuff and I get it you know that makes sense and she asked if I'd come do a trial run and I said yes but of course in my head I'm thinking oh does that mean I'm gonna work for free but then I thought oh shut up just suck it up and go, you know. So, yeah. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. I don't know. And, um, I watched on YouTube from 60 Minutes about Ukraine and, <clears throat> and how Poland is taking them in and all that, and it's just... Yeah, I mean, really, what have I got to complain about? But that doesn't mean that it doesn't happen, and and you get we all get sad, yeah. especially if, if we have depression and anxiety. I mean, we people with anxiety, we get it that you know we care about people way too much, and um, can we think I shouldn't be feeling this way? So many others have it worse, right? But you can't, I mean, you can, you do, it is, it is a sickness and it's not your fault. And you have to know this is not your fault. Medicine helps. For me, therapy did not help. Um, but that's just the way it is. Piggies helped. Piggies helped a lot. <laughs> Piggies helped a lot. Yes, they did. I think everyone with depression should have to have a pet. And it would help a great deal. I've said this many times before. Mwah. Right, P? Yeah. 
Oh, that's funny. The sun came out right when I said that. The sun came out. Yes, it did. See? Oh, okay. Yeah. Hang in there, everybody. Always remember, we love you. Paw prayers. Right, Pete?